Was Kaylee Mondotti's death an accident or was she murdered? Kaylee Mondotti was a 19-year-old sophomore at Trinity University in San Antonio, Texas, where she was studying communications. She was a cheerleader and a member of a sorority and was by all accounts enjoying her college experience. She had an on-again, off-again boyfriend by the name of Jet that she had met and started dating her freshman year. Around September of 2017, she started seeing a 22-year-old Houston man named Mark Howerton. According to friends, Kaylee was seeing both Mark and Jet at the same time, and both men knew this and were unhappy with the competition. About a month into dating, on the weekend of October 28, 2017, Mark and Kaylee attended the Mala Luna Music Festival in San Antonio. According to Mark, they had both been drinking and taking MDMA at the festival. This would not have been out of character for Kaylee according to her mother. It was reported by some sources that the couple had run into Jet at the festival and had left on Saturday but returned on Sunday for the final day. According to Mark, they left the festival between 5 to 6 p.m. on Sunday, October 29. He says they got into a fight that evening over Jet as Kaylee still had feelings for him. Howerton claims they stopped in a Valero parking lot where they had consensual makeup sex. During that encounter, Mark says he choked Kaylee, which was in line with the rough sex the couple often engaged in. In his own words, we were having sex, I choked her. But it wasn't like I was killing her. Mark claims that she was still talking about five to six minutes after they finished up, but then claimed she wasn't feeling too good and then passed out and was snoring. He decided to drive her to Houston, but at some point noticed she was no longer snoring and started to panic. At 10.30 p.m., Mark Howerton brought Kaylee to the emergency room in the rural town of Luling, Texas. She was covered in bruises and had no brain activity when she was admitted. The hospital staff tried many life-saving measures including performing CPR seven times, resulting in a broken rib. However, their attempts were not successful. Kaylee's bruising was so extensive that her mother wondered if she had been thrown off a bridge or fallen from an airplane when she first saw her. The official cause of death was blunt force trauma to the face and head. Kaylee was declared brain dead on October 30th and taken off of life support the next day. Mark Howarden was arrested in February of 2018 and tried in December 2019 on charges of kidnapping, rape, and murder. His defense argued that there was no sign of assault, and that her bruising could be caused by a fall and by the medical intervention she received when she came to the ER. His original trial resulted in a mistrial due to a hung jury. According to a foreman on the case, the jury was split 8 to 4 guilty versus not guilty, after 9 hours of deliberation over 2 days. In June of 2022, an appeals court granted that a retrial of Mark Howerton could proceed. His new hearing has not been scheduled. So what do you think?